Hey friends, uh, I'm on my travels again. Uh, this week I am in The Hague, in the Netherlands. Uh, here's my hotel, and right next to the hotel is a science museum with apparently the largest cinema screen in all of the Netherlands. It's like it was made for me. So uh, let's get in there and check it out. Free Nelson Mandela. He's free now. Ah, well this is nice. I got here to the hotel pretty late in the day. Um, it's about 4 p.m. now, or just before, and the museum and everything else shuts at 5. But there is a last showing in that big screen. Um, something about a little boy sailing a boat around the South Pacific. The thing that's starting now at 4 is about uh, the American National Parks, so I'm kind of torn. That's right up my alley. Um, but I'd quite like to get into this museum for the last hour that it's open. Uh, and then jump in there and catch the very last showing of this film on the big screen. So I think I'm going to have to do that probably. But uh, should be good. Let's see what's in the museum. What is that? Or what was that, should I say? Of course, it's some kind of whale. A sperm. Wow. Wouldn't want to be in the water with that thing. Okay, got my tickets. Time to check this place out. Ooh, it's a whole floor about optical illusions. This is really tripping me out. <laughs> this stuff reminds me of something that I read about uh, a couple of years ago. I think it was called Dazzle camouflage? Does that ring a bell? Um, and ships would like paint themselves with it and apparently it makes them like harder to see or harder to spot by like U-boat periscopes and things like that. I could be talking out my ass. Um, but if it's a real thing, I'll insert a link in the video right here. See, I told you. They have one of these um, Nat Geo photograph exhibits here, which just always make me feel so incredibly inferior as a photographer. I mean, these ones are good, but they're probably by adult professionals. The exhibitions that make you feel really bad are the young wildlife photographer ones, where you get photos like these, and these, and these by kids that are like half your age. Sad times. Oh, look at this guy. Like seriously, if this isn't composited, how good do you need to be to get this shot? He's like, yeah, we're just hanging out. No biggie. Or this one. That is just an incredible stroke of luck shot. My word, check these out. These are what they would call magic lanterns, which were like some of the first ever video projectors. Look at this badger. You reckon Sting could get a tune out of these bad boys? I played my lute and I sang in an almost Jody accent. But really, I was just being pretentious. Some great anthropological exhibits here, but this is a lot more my speed. Wow. We're in this cool section all about sound and music. Some cool little experiments. And there's also this really awesome collection of uh, music players from over the years. 
Little hydrogen rocket experiment here. Wait for the hydrogen to build up. Splitting the hydrogen atoms from the water using electrolysis. This is Capcom, I need to go, no, go on all stations. Transport, go. Rockets, go. Engines, go. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> nice. One thing I've noticed traveling through the more Nordic countries is that they don't really seem to have uh, a complete grasp of what the F word means. Case in point, they have a TV show that they advertise here uh, on kind of a family channel called Mind F Okay. They have this fantastic collection of uh, birds, different birds flying, swooping, soaring majestically, getting into all kinds of hilarious scrapes, and then just this poor guy smashing into the wall there. Nice exhibit about roadkill. Call, call an ambulance, please. Oh. oh man, I saw the whole thing. I would have got his plates for you, but I haven't got any fingers. I would have got his plates too. I just don't like you. Well, that was a great little museum. It's too bad I didn't have much longer there, but next time I'll come earlier and see the whole thing. Now, time to see if I can still get in for that movie. So, back at the Omniversum, got my ticket, got my headphones, because the film is in Dutch, that's fine. <laughs> oh, awesome. Check out the projection room. Wow. Get it all queued up there on the system. Man. Can't imagine still reeling up those 70mm IMAX films today. I'm amazed they haven't all gone digital. Okay. It's time to get down in there. Hi. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. This is quite the screen. Primo seats, dude. At Gillifrey Freeman's National Parks Adventure. Nu in Omniversum. Oh, that's great. Flippin' loving IMAX. I feel like I want to come back and see some more stuff, but I don't know if I'll have time. Maybe next time. So as I exit via the gift shop, all remains to say is thanks for watching. See you next time.